If you're not selling online, if you haven't started your own online dropshipping store, then I'm pretty sure the biggest reason is because you just don't know how to start it. Either it's too complicated, it takes too long, or I don't know any of that coding mumbo jumbo. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can start your dropshipping store from scratch using Shopify. It's going to be super easy. We're going to get straight to the point and we're not going to fill it in with too much filler. We're going to go ahead and make a Shopify store to just get you started. So all you have to do is really just keep adding on your products and you can start changing it up a little bit over time as you see what works, as you see more or less how different colors are going to fit into your brand. But right now, today, we're going to go ahead and build a basic dropshipping store just so you can get started selling. It's totally worth it. You can get started for practically for free. When you're using Shopify, you can get started for three months for just $1 each month. If you want to try that out, just go ahead and check out the link down below. There's going to be a Shopify link down there in which you can get your free three months trial. Well, that sounds like a good deal. So right now we're at the Shopify website and the first thing we're going to do is simply click on start free trial. Then it's going to ask us a couple of questions. Honestly, you don't have to waste your time with any of these. These really don't really matter. So all we're going to do is click on skip all. At this point, this does matter. So choose your country of residence or where you're going to be selling. Then we're going to create a Shopify account here. It really doesn't matter what you choose. I always go with Google, but really it's whatever is easiest for you and whatever your preference is. So once we go ahead and sign on, it's going to go ahead and take you to this page and it's going to start telling you that it's creating your account. And we have officially started on Shopify. We're pretty much done. You can start adding products on here and start making some money. All right. See you guys next time. I'm just kidding. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's actually start to build this, even though to be clear, it is pretty much already set up. You can just start adding products and you can start selling on here, but people aren't going to like the website. They're not going to trust it. So let's go ahead and get a little bit deeper into it. So the first page that this takes us to is going to be our setup guide. Here we have a little bit of a checklist, which is pretty much just adding products, customizing our store, adding a domain and a few other things, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. I do want to explain to you all one quick thing before we start customizing and adding products. So to start, whenever you start your free trial, you're going to have, I believe it's three days as a completely free trial. You're not going to have to pay anything. You're not going to have to pay a dollar, no credit card details, nothing. When you actually want to start your dollar trial for each month for the next three months, all you have to do is select a plan. Now, when you select the plan, your free trial, your first three days for the free trial are completely over. So my suggestion is go to three days, finish up the actual free trial and then select the plan. So that way you can get your dollar trial for the next three months. So the first thing that we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get started by choosing either our products or our niche, or if we're going to go with a, just an overall generic store, a generic store is a store where you're pretty much going to be selling a little bit of everything. You can sell anything from toys to clothes, to home goods. If you decide to go with a niche store, you're going to be selling a bunch of different products in the same niche. So you're going to sell a lot of home good products, or you're going to sell a lot of kitchen products, or you're going to sell fitness and lifestyle products. And then the other option, is a one product store, which me personally to get started, I do not recommend that because you need to make sure that that one product is a winning product. Now, as far as the niche, I'm going to go ahead and choose one that is evergreen, something that's popular throughout the entire year and really has no signs of slowing down. And that is baby products. People are popping out babies left and right. Babies are born every single day, every single week, every single month. And parents do not mind spending a couple of extra bucks to make sure that their kids are either safe or comfortable or just overall happy. So for me, baby products is one of the best niches to be able to get into to start drop shipping. So we're simply going to look for maybe two or three different products that have to do with the baby niche to add to our store. And the way that we're going to do that is simply by going on over to the search bar and we're going to look up different apps. So right now in particular, we're going to go, we're going to click on the app and I'm going to look for auto DS. And the one that we're looking for is this one right here, auto DS all in one drop shipping. So go ahead and click on that. And you are going to have a two week trial for this. That's just going to cost you $1. So for this, all we have to do is click on install. It's going to take us to this page over in our Shopify store and and all we have to do is click on install app. Okay, so we officially have AutoDS installed. Let's just go ahead and click on go to AutoDS. And for the most part, adding all of our different products can be done directly from here. We can also edit and optimize anything that we need from the listings themselves. So let's go ahead and start looking for a couple of different baby products to start selling. Now for this, you have two different options. You have the marketplace and you have the winning product section. Both of them have tons upon tons of trending items that have been proven to sell either now or throughout the years and are all backed up by years of data gathered by some expert dropshippers. Now we said we're in the baby niche. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go out over here and under the search bar, I'm just going to type in baby. So first off, we have a few different things. We have a few dolls. We have some matching PJs. Of course, PJs are going to be a very trending item for the simple fact that kids are always going to be outgrowing them, especially the younger kids. You're going to buy a zero to three month onesie and in two weeks, they're going to be completely outgrown and they're going to have to be in maybe six to nine months. It's crazy how fast these kids grow. So that alone can tell you that in the baby niche, baby clothes 
are a must have. That's something that you need to offer. Let's go ahead and switch over our supplier. Personally, I like going with AutoDS suppliers because for one, they have the fastest shipping and two, you have the option to brand some of your different products, or at least you can brand the thank you cards that get shipped out with the products. It adds a nice little personal touch that your customers really remember. So first off, the one that's actually really standing out to me is this little sailor outfit. All right, so this one, they have a few different sizes, four to six, seven to nine, all the way up to 18 months. Okay, that's not bad. So I like this one. And what I'm gonna do is simply just click on import draft. Now this item is gonna go to our draft section, ready for us to optimize it, to change the title, to change the description, whatever it is that we need to change before making it go live on our store. Now let's go ahead and add a few others now for this i'm over at aliexpress because i want to show you a different method to be able to import your different products if you don't want to use a marketplace or if you have your own products that you want to import and there's one product in particular that me as a parent I know is something that everyone wants and that's a baby carrier. So for one, they have this one right here. This one looks pretty easy to use. This one actually looks even easier to use. The reason I'm talking about ease of use is because these baby carriers sometimes can get extremely troublesome to put on. It takes a bit to figure it out, trust me. So when it comes to these different products, the simpler you can make it, the better. So I really like this one and the shipping is pretty good. It has a 12 day delivery guarantee on orders that are over $5. Now this is obviously $10 and 96 cents, even though it is on sale from $12. So we are going to get the fast shipping. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and click on the link and we're going to cut it or we're going to copy it, whatever. Then we're going to run back over to AutoDS and we're going to click on add products. Once we're on add products, we're going to go ahead and choose either single or multiple. I'm going to add one more or maybe two more. So I'm going to go to multiple. Now here I'm simply going to paste the link and we're going to go to another one. Another thing that I know that parents are always looking for, something that people are always shopping for is going to be baby bibs. And I know these are some very popular ones. I've seen these everywhere. I know people purchase these left and right, but aside from that, they also have some other ones. I don't want to be too basic. I don't want to have literally the same thing that everyone has. So I want to kind of switch it up a little bit. And one of the ones that I'm looking at that actually stands out to me right now is this one right here, along with this one right here. So these two seem to be their best choices. Okay. So now this is actually the bib that I'm going to go with because this is absolutely fantastic. And why am I choosing this product? What makes this one stand out? And why do I think that this one would actually sell? This is coming from a parent. I have two kids and I know the struggles when it comes to feeding them and how messy it can actually get. Now, a lot of people don't care because, you know, it's part of the process. It's fun, but sometimes it can get very, very dirty, especially when they're learning how to eat. So a bib like this makes it a lot easier to clean up pretty much everything. It makes it easier to clean them up as well. The reason I'm saying is because for one, it has sleeves. So you can stick your baby's arms in the sleeve and their arms aren't going to get dirty. Their shirt's not going to get dirty. And best part of it is it's waterproof. So as you can see right here, it says that it's a waterproof bib. So pretty much anything that falls into it is just going to start sliding right off. This is ideal. This will make things a lot easier for parents. And this meets two of the requirements that you need to have whenever you're choosing different dropshipping products. Those two requirements being one, it needs to have a wow factor and two, it needs to provide some sort of value in your customer's life. And this does both. On top of that, the designs on these bibs, they're neutral, they look good, they're not too extra bright. And that's what people are looking for nowadays. Right now, something that's trending isn't the crazy bright colors, it's more of the neutral tone palette colors. Really quick, let's check out the delivery actually. So it has $2 shipping which isn't bad. It'll ultimately come out to about $4. But if you order over $10, then you can get free shipping. Now, how can we get the free shipping? Well, you can sell these in sets. Maybe you can sell five of them for a special price. And right there, you're going to meet the minimum for the free shipping. So let's run back over to AutoDS and let's paste that link on there as well. And I think with three products to start, I think we'll be, I think we'll be good. So let's go ahead and add as draft. And now we're going to go check out our drafts. We're going to see where they are and where they stand. So right here on the left-hand side, just click on draft section. And here we can see the three different products that we just added to our draft section. All we have to do now is simply click on click to edit or we can just click into it over here and we can make any necessary changes so we can change the title we can change the shipping method we can go ahead and change the country of location any tags we want to add to it so we can keep track of any analytics same thing with the description we can go ahead and change the description here as well another thing we can do through AutoDS directly is optimize the description or the title with ai but aside from that we can also go ahead into the variations change the different names of the variations, or this is actually the place where you change the pricing. So you can either edit a single one or you can select all of them, click on edit and edit the pricing through here. Aside from that, you also have the images where you can delete, you can add or even edit images. Now we have three products that we're ready to sell in our dropshipping store. Now let's continue setting up our store. So now we're back over at Shopify. And the next thing we have to do is actually start customizing our store or customize our landing page or our homepage, wherever it is that our customers are going to be shopping from. So for this, all we have to do is go ahead and click on customize your online store, or you can simply just go on over to the side where it says online store and click on that. Once you click on that, you're going to be on the themes page. And from here, you can go ahead and customize the default theme 
or you can choose some of these different ones. The best thing about Shopify is the fact that they offer some free themes and these free themes are really good. They look really good. They look clean. It's just up to you to customize a couple of things here and there. Shopify makes it super easy to actually build your website and make it look good. But on top of that, we're also going to use a couple of different tools. Now, as a quick note, as you can see here, it shows that our store is actually password protected until we pick a plan. Remember, right now we're on our three day free trial. I'm going to be milking it as much as I can. So if you're able to finish everything before the three days and you're ready to start selling, then by all means, pick a plan, finish the free trial and start your paid one dollar trial. That way, whenever somebody goes to your store, you don't have to worry about them having to type in a password whenever they log in, because honestly, nobody's going to do that. Now, for the most part, people end up going with either the refresh theme, the dawn theme, or I think it was the sense theme. This one I really like because it's very neutral and it looks very clean. It's not too overpowering. And of course, at the end of the day, you can customize any of these however you want with whatever colors you want. But to start, I'm going to go with one of the more popular ones and we're going to go with refresh. Now here, all we have to do is click on add. That's it. Then over here, it's going to be added to your theme library where you can customize it or you can make it go live. Now, while that's installing, let's go on over to ChatGPT and let's come up with a few different ideas for a store name. So let's simply ask ChatGPT. I'm saying, give me a few names for an e-commerce store that specializes in baby products, make it cute, gender neutral, and a play on words for parents. I want the name itself to be a little bit funny or a little bit cute. It's just something to actually make it stand out. So we have baby bundles, tiny tot treasures, cuddle nest, giggles and growth, pint sized pleasures, snuggle sprout, and a few others. Now, considering the fact that it's going to be a generic baby store, so it's going to have different age ranges for kids, I think giggles and growth might be one of the better ones because kids love to giggle and they're always growing. All right, so our refresh theme has officially been added. Now we can go ahead and customize it or we can publish it. So for this, one, I'm just gonna click on customize and this is what it looks like right now. This is the bare bones of the website. So as you can see right here, it only has some example products because our products on AutoDS, we haven't made them go live yet. So let's go ahead and do that really fast. So we're gonna go back over to our draft section over AutoDS. And in order to do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of them and click on import all. It's gonna import three drafts to my store so they'll be ready to sell. Now you can see that there's a little progress bar up here. It'll tell us once it's ready. So now that we have our different products imported, I went ahead and refreshed the website. And as you can see now, our products are being shown on the front page. So here we have the three different items we imported. And now we need to change some of this color scheme because honestly, this isn't working. So I went over to ChatGPT and I asked it for what are gender neutral color schemes for a baby products dropshipping website? And it gave me a few different options, but the one that stood out to me the most is this one right here, mint green and gray. Now I really like mint green and gray along with soft yellow. So we might use a little bit of all three of those. Now, in order to be able to figure out what exactly is mint green, I went ahead and I also Googled a mint green hex code. Now this is the code that you're gonna use, whether it be on Photoshop, on Shopify, or whatever program it is that you're using to get the mint green color. So now let's run over back to our Shopify store. And the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna change this banner right here because this is a bit too much. I don't like it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on the banner over here and we're gonna change the color. So as you can see here, it has the different color scheme. Let's go ahead and edit that. The background is that really dark blue. Let's go ahead and change that to a mint green. So let's paste the hex code. And as you can see, it automatically changed. Of course, now you can't really see the text because it's too bright. So let's go ahead and change that as well. Let's make it black to start. Let's go. Let's just go ahead and make it black. And there, as you can see, it stands out a little bit better. Now up here, this blue kind of works. It's still a little bit too boyish. In my opinion, I want to make it as neutral as possible. So let's look for a soft yellow hex code. Now, when you Google it, you're going to get a bunch of different options. So just look around and see what you like. This website came up colorhex.com. And this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. I like this one right here. Let's click on our announcement bar and let's edit this one as well. The background is going to be changed to our soft yellow. And as you can see, that does look a lot better now. Let's go ahead and change the text color. So now it is starting to look a bit more, I guess you can say childish. Now we have this big old banner over here. This one obviously is not going to do us any good. So now we're going to use a stock website called pexels.com. Now here you can find pretty much whatever photos that you need and you can use them for completely free. You don't have to attribute any author. You don't have to attribute an editor. All of these are public domain. They're trademark free. They're copyright free. You can use them for anything that you need. So now let's look for something that could go with what we're doing. So let's look for a nursery room. And here we have already a few different options. All right. So I really like this one. This is nice. It's clean to the point. This one looks good too. Now, of course, we're not going to be using an image that's in portrait mode. We're going to need something that's in landscape. So let's go ahead and change that. So I really like this one a lot. So I'm going to open that one up on a new tab just so I can have it open so I can 
compared to other ones. I like this one a lot more, actually. This one's really nice. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. I like this one. So let's go ahead and do the free download. Now let's run back over to our Shopify store and we're gonna click on our banner. Then we're gonna click on select image, right? Once that's uploaded, just click on done. And as you can see now, we have our new banner image. It looks so much better, but I'm not entirely sure how, how I'm liking the mint green anymore. So we might change that in a little bit. But aside from that, it looks pretty good. This is really big. So we can go ahead and make this a little bit smaller just so it fits the website better. So in order to change it, all you have to do is click on the image again, and then you're gonna get here where it says slide height. Right now it's adaptive first image, so it's gonna be pretty big, but I'm gonna make it small. And that right there fits pretty well, even if we do medium, Actually, you know what? Medium. I think medium fit perfectly. And now that we have this ready, we have now over here our little announcement that says browse our latest products. We can either keep this here and click on shop all, or we can completely remove it and add simply our name or our store name over on top of the image. I've never really liked having the shop all button on top of an image. I think it just takes away from it, especially if we scroll down and then you're going to have all of the different products right there. So as you can see, I actually got kind of tired of the big mint green over here and I, I pretty much just inverted the colors. I switched the yellow with the green and the green with the yellow and it looks a lot better now. It looks a lot cleaner. Now, as far as this little announcement or this shop all CTA, I'm gonna change this and I'm just gonna have a simple wording on here to be able to entice customers to actually keep on looking. Now for that, I went over to ChatGPT and I asked it. So I said, give me a tagline for the website a small announcement to put in the front page to entice customers to keep looking around. And it gave me a few different ones because I asked for more, but the first one that it gave me is actually my favorite one. Discover delightful delights for every little darling. I think that's simple, straight to the point and pretty cute. So let's go ahead and run back here and let's change this over here. So as far as a button label, we're not going to have any because we're not going to put a button. Now, as far as the text, we're going to switch this over to discover delightful delights for every little darling. The heading size, let's make it small because I don't want it to take up too much space. As far as the positioning, I think the middle center would be best. After a little bit of playing around with the placing, um, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and keep it with the background. I wanted to remove it, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that, but then I'm also gonna leave the button. So I'm gonna do shop all. And of course that button has to change color. So let's go ahead and change that. Now, will it good look in yellow? No. What about mint green? I think mint green is an accent would work pretty well. Now let's change the text. Let's make that black. Now that we have that ready, you can go ahead and scroll down and you can see the rest of the website. It's pretty straightforward. It's ready to start selling, honestly. But now we need to switch over the announcement bar and we need to add our store name. Now, when it comes to the store name, there's two different things we can do. We can either put our actual store name and just have it as plain text, or we can upload our logo. Now, I know we didn't make a logo, but we can quickly go ahead and make one because in my personal opinion, I think it looks a lot better if you have your logo up there rather than just your name in plain text. So the first thing we're gonna do here is click on save because if we exit out of this or if our browser crashes, everything we just did is gone. So let's go ahead and click on save. Let's click on our banner. And as you can see here, it tells you edit your logo in theme settings. So we're gonna click on that. And now on the left-hand side over here, you can see that it's actually asking us to upload our logo. Now, of course we don't have one, but we can go ahead and quickly make one for free using AI. So for this, we're running over to Canva and we're going to simply go ahead and create a design and we're going to click on logo. So of course we can go ahead and make our own logo using all of these different templates, but we're not doing that because we want to do things a lot faster and because some of us, myself included, aren't very creative. So let's use AI. So here, all you have to do is simply go on over to apps. And right here, you have the first one, generate realistic images and art using AI. Now they have a few different services when it comes to text to image. So as you can see here, it has two featured ones. It has doll E and it also has this one right here, convert text into AI or QR art. I'm just going to go ahead and use the first one using doll E. So we're going to click on that and we're going to click on open. And now up here, we can go ahead and give it a description of what our logo is going to be. If you don't know what your logo is going to be, if you're bad at coming up with different logos, don't worry, we can just go back to ChatGPT and ask it. So I'm just going to ask it to give me a detailed idea for a logo for a baby dropshipping store named Giggles and Growth. The logo embodies a spirit of joy, growth, and nurturing and incorporates playful elements that reflect the happiness and development associated with childhood. The logo can be a whimsical, cartoonish, sprouting plant. The sprout could have a smiling face conveying the idea of growth and happiness. Few leaves and perhaps a budding flower representing the idea of development and blooming. That's not bad. All right, so let's see what kind of can come up with. So I got a few different options and honestly, I think this is my favorite one. It's it's kind of basic. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing special, but it, it works. So Let's go ahead and expand this a little bit. 
Let's make it a little bit bigger. And all I need to do now is actually add the name of our store, Giggles and Growth. Let's check out this one here, this happy birthday one. All right, so it doesn't look too bad. Of course, we need to make it stand out a little bit. Okay, so here we have Giggles and Growth. Now let's just go ahead and share it and download the logo. Now, once that's done, we're gonna run back over to our store over at Shopify and we're gonna upload it over here. So we're gonna click on select image and there we have our Giggles and Growth logo. So the last one as a big square, it wasn't really fitting. So I went back and I ended up making it a bit more rectangular, so a bit longer so that way it just fits better with the flow of the website now as you can see it looks a lot better and you can actually read the name of the store giggles and growth so now that we have that done and taken care of i'm starting to think again that this yellow doesn't necessarily fit i'm liking this neutral green so let's go ahead and get that so in order to sample that color i'm just going to go ahead and check this part out look at the different colors that they have and see which one is the most closely related to this to this green right here now as you can see it gives us the different photo colors so canva is already giving us the different colors that we have on our image so it's obviously this one right here now we need to get that hex code and for that really all we have to do is click on back over to the color then just click on right here where it says add new color and the one that's already selected it's going to give you the hex code for that so let's just go ahead and copy that and change this right here let's see how it looks that looks pretty good as you can see a lot of this is a lot of trial and error you're going to be trying different things you're going to like it you're not going to like it you're going to go back you're going to make revisions until you're ultimately happy if you're not getting it at first try don't worry, just keep going. You're, you're eventually going to get it. Eventually, you'll make enough adjustments where you're going to see what actually stands out to you and what you think looks best. So now that we have this ready, let's go ahead and look at our banner. So we can't just have welcome to our store, right? We need to have something on there that actually entices the customer to make a purchase and gets them to look around. On the announcement bar, there's two things I like to put. Either one, use this code for a discount or two, free shipping. Now, of course, there's going to be a little bit more details onto there. So use this code for a discount, maybe buy two, get one free, or simply just add four products to your cart and get the fifth one free, something along those lines. For this one, though, I'm just going to go with the usual free shipping. Now to change this, all you have to do is simply click on this right here, where it actually says welcome to our store, and we're going to change it. So I'm going to do free shipping on all orders something simple something that's going to get people to actually look around because honestly people love free shipping and if they can get free shipping for a product that's a bit more expensive than a product that they have to pay shipping for they're going to go for the free shipping option it's just psychology i don't know what it is people don't typically do the math they just see free and they think that's what i want to go with and that's pretty much all you need to actually get your store started. As you can see, we did this pretty quick. It didn't take too long. It didn't even take an hour or so. I mean, for you guys out there, it probably looked a lot quicker because of course I skipped a few of the different fillers, but overall I did not spend more than an hour actually building the store. And as you can see, the color scheme and everything came out pretty good. We actually have a logo on here, which a lot of times people take forever to make logos. We got it done in less than 10 minutes. So let's see what it actually looks like. So now we're gonna publish it. Here's just telling us about the password. That's fine, let's go ahead and publish it. And this is what it's gonna look like. So let's click on view our store. So as you can see, we're pretty much done with our homepage. This is what it's gonna look like. This is what our customers are gonna see when they sign on. We have everything set up pretty nicely. The colors are all flowing. There's only a couple of things that I do need to mention to you. And one of those is you are always going to need your different pages for your different policies. So you're going to need a page for your shipping policy and one for your refund or exchange policy. Typically speaking, those are going to go down in the footer, but that's something that we'll cover in a different video. So if you want to see that, if you want to learn more about the more detailed parts of building your Shopify store, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If it's something you're interested in, if enough of you are interested in it, we'll go ahead and cover it. We'll start covering everything that you need to be able to start selling 100% online. Just let us know down in the comments below if that's something you're interested in and if it's something that you might find helpful. Aside from that, this is the easiest way to get started with building your own Shopify dropshipping store. Of course, this is just one way. There's a bunch of different ways to build your store, different tools, different color schemes, different niches. Everybody's is going to vary, but this is something that you can use to just get started and finally get your store up and running. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of people don't start their stores just because they don't know how to design it. They think that they need to know how to do website design. They think that they need to be able to code different websites. And as you can see, that is absolutely not the case. So if you want a more detailed video with all of the ins and outs, remember, let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, if you found it informational, if you found it helpful, please make sure you smash that like button. And while you're there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. It truly does mean a lot. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.